Because there are two interviews the Lee Pin like a like city police off road chase. So this is the box itself right here and as you can see it's recommended for just 6 to 12 and this is set 02095 comes with 47 pieces and 2 minifigs uh, which is the police officer and also the crook. This is the top of the box uh, does show you the actual size of the police officer and you got the side. The other side, bottom, and finally the back. It shows you the, I guess, another kind of scenario, maybe. But yeah, uh, aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the box. So inside the box does come with this very, very small crate, which is interesting. So this is the instruction manual right here. Um, nothing too interesting. You have the sticker and yeah, the final page of the build, and you have this the back of the box so yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for the instruction manual so first off for a minifix this is the police officer or the police biker so uh, he comes with the handcuffs right here which you know is a pretty nice looking mold uh, a very common piece and he does have his helmet uh, here with the goggles which is pretty cool you can flip it up and under there you can see you got his angry expression and uh, for the torso print you have uh, this jacket with some zips you have the police logo and you have the leg printing with some pockets and the back here it says police and you got some black lining and creases but Aside from that, that's pretty much it for the police biker. So the second minifig right here is the crook. So he comes with this crowbar right here, which is a very common piece. He has a red hat, which is cool. And under there, you can see he got his face print with this evil smile type of thing. And yeah, uh, for the torso print, you have this jacket. Under there, you can see you got his prison outfit. Uh, you got this strap right here with a pouch. You have the belt and you have some creases. There's no leg printing for him. And this is the back. You have the strap and yeah, you got the belt and you got some creases, some black linings and the jacket design. Uh, looks pretty cool but aside from that that's pretty much it for the crook so these are the builds right here so let's start with the snake so the snake here it's a very nice looking mode um i believe it's accurate to the original lego snake mode and you have the tongue right here you have the eyes you know the design here is um, pretty cool you have some texture here and yeah Aside from that, nothing else too interesting about the snake. For the builds, uh, let's start with this dirt bike. So the front here, this is a sticker. I'm not sure if the original Lego set, whether it is a sticker or it's printed. But I believe it's printed. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it looks pretty good here. And yeah, I really like this uh, dirt bike mode in blue. And you have this uh, kickstand right here which you can kind of move out of the way and yeah you can put the biker right here and yeah that's cool you can stand it up kind of and yeah the second build right here is this hideout um, you have some rocks you have some green facade you have uh, this door type thing this kind of flap uh, with this handle you have the sticker with this uh, marking right here and if you open it up, you can see inside you do have two of these gems. Uh, you have the red one and you have the this transparent one. Deepin did a very great job on uh, this mold. It looks pretty cool. But um, yeah, aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the builds. So, over conclusion of this set here. So, how do I think of it? Well, um, the figures themselves, I think they are pretty good. The prints for them, they are nice. And um, the only problem with them is that uh, this police officer or this police biker here, this uh, goggles piece, is very easily removed. This 
pop off sometimes so yeah that does kind of suck but uh, for the bills themselves I don't think they have any problems um, I think the dirt bike here it looks pretty cool and the hideout here you know it looks cool as well and I also like uh, how Lee Pin did this gem mode um, yeah it looks really cool and uh, for the snake it's also nice that Lee Pin made the mold for it so yeah overall if you cannot afford the original set then you should definitely get the leapin version or if you can afford the original set but you don't want to waste your money on a small set then yeah overall uh you should buy this um yeah you should add it to your police collection if you do have one so yeah, uh, buy links for a set here down in the description box below, along with my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.